Hello everybody. I'm going to go over week three new grammar for my Abyssinians. Um, so first we're going to do our multiplication tables, the fives and the sixes. And this time for the fives, we're going to split up into partners and we're going to give each other high fives with every number. So it'll be like five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. For the sixes, we're either going to hold hands or maybe like hold a hula hoop or something and we're going to walk around in a circle as we sing the song and then maybe reverse directions for the second time it goes through it. Um, so for Latin this week, we are doing um, first conjugation imperfect tense. So um, it starts out with bomb. So I was trying to think of a way to remember this, that it, this is the imperfect tense. And so bomb is kind of like bam, right? But it's bomb. And I'm gonna, we're gonna pretend like something fell and broke. And so it's imperfect. Um, so we're gonna say, bomb, bas, bat, bamus, batis, bunt, bomb, bas, bat, bamus, batis, bunt, first conjugation, imperfect tense. Okay, um, what are three types of consumers for science? Three types of consumers are herbivores and we're pretending like we're eating like a nice little salad or something so we're gonna say herbivores carnivores and we're gonna like er, get our teeth out and like kind of really get into it so carnivores and then for omnivores we're gonna do a little bit of the salad and a little bit of the eating the meat so we're gonna say and omnivores mm, okay English pronoun order we're gonna go like this First person singular, second person singular, third person singular. And then we're gonna go first person plural, second person plural, third person plural. And that's how we're gonna remember that. Timeline. We are gonna say um, Hinduism in India. And then we're gonna go Venetians and the alphabet, like we're making an A. Um, and then we're gonna say Olmecs of Mesoamerica, make an O. And then we're gonna do Israelite Exodus and Desert Wandering. So we're gonna say Israelite Exodus and Desert, oh wait, no, Israelite Exodus and Desert Wandering. Like we don't know where we are. Um, and then we're gonna do Israelite Conquest, like we have a flag and we're planting it. Is there like conquest and judges? Greek dark ages, Israel's united kingdom. Okay, for history, tell me about the Crusades. And we are going to say, Richard, and we're going to make a lion, the lion hearted son, like this, son of Eleanor, this is the American Sign Language E, son of Eleanor of Aquitaine, and we're gonna fought, fought the Turks for Jerusalem. So we're gonna make a T, bring it down into a cross for Jer Jerusalem. During the time of the Crusades, like we're trying to get land and we're marching forward of the Crusades from 1095, we're making a 10, 1095 to 1291. We're doing a one and a two for the 12. So I'm not gonna do the whole dates for that. I'm just gonna, we're gonna remember that it's, you know, in the 10th century to the 12th century basically, but 1095 to 1291. All right, geography. Western European countries, and I have a song this week. So, it goes like this, um, if you can see it. Ireland, England, Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. Ireland, England, Portugal, Spain, and France. All right, let's do it again. Ireland, England, Portugal, 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 Ireland, England, Portugal, Spain, and France. That's it, guys. Um, hopefully it's a good week. I'm doing this in the summer, so I'm doing it way in advance, but hopefully we have a good week. All right, thanks.